Tickets, tickets. Tickets. Now guys, we'll be loading the big boat only. It's just a big larger boat to be going. Now the history of this national park began here almost 40 years ago. This is when our provincial geologist at the time, David Baird, you see this uh, boat tour that we have here pretty much is the basis right into this is why Grossmore National Park is here. This is one of the easier ways to see this beautiful place. But like you say, if you want to go a little more extreme, you take the backcountry permit up into the long range traverse. Like seriously though, this hike is about as extreme as you're going to get. There is no trails, there's no campsites, there's no nothing. You get a map, a compass, and a good luck. That's it. You're on your own. Sorry, how often do people do that hike? How often do uh, Normally, we, we drop off five or six people a day. Is, is that uh, something you'd be interested in doing that? No. <laughs> <laughs> this, like is, <laughs> yeah, this, this is perfect right here. So when the glaciers came out through here, took all the tops off of here. So basically, everything that you've seen here is just roots. This is, there's no mountains left. This is just the old roots that's left. All the mountains were taken away by the glaciers. There's one eye socket, the other one is a long nose here. The mouth here and a long chin. Point of doing rock face, or right straight across right here. I, I don't know. Yeah, there is something unique about this. All right, it's. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's. Uh, it's wonderful, really. You know, I mean, it's nature, isn't it? And that's what we're all after. Nature is beautiful. But uh, you know. Uh, yeah, what can I say? I think uh, Canada is a beautiful country in its own. You know, I, I was born in Holland, and uh, we don't have this kind of stuff. <laughs> Hopefully that'll go right now. No, 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 not now, not now. You'll land in the parking lot, I'm telling you. You got any idea how much water that would displace that hit the pond? From 2,100 feet in the air? Trust me, a life jacket is not gonna do you any good. <laughs> You're gonna need a lot more than a life jacket. <laughs> I'll get you a life jacket just in case. <laughs> this place is just amazing. Recommended? Oh, oh for sure. Yeah. You've got to be on the boat tour to see this fjord. Definitely worth it. This is what I call the eighth wonder of the world.